The search for peace in southern Kaduna continues, and in one of his numerous engagements, Governor Nasir Arufai is meeting with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, security agencies, and political leaders in the state. The Khan president admits that though the southern Kaduna crisis predates the present administration in the state, he however appeals to the government and security agencies to fish out the perpetrators of the killings and bring them to justice. You will agree with me, Your Excellency, that one of the main responsibilities of leadership is problem solving. If such people had been brought to book before, the proposal was a far cry from the frequency of attacks and killings. The people causing trouble are not spirits. So it should not be too difficult to apprehend them and bring them to book. Governor El Rufai, who has repeatedly condemned the attacks, says his administration is committed to stopping the cycle of attacks and reprisals. The ultimate guarantee of peace is the willingness of communities to live in harmony and, to, and their resolve to settle differences through lawful means. As government, is to uphold a common citizenship, united in respect for the rule of law, equality of opportunity, and promotion of the rights and liberties of everyone. We cannot allow our common humanity to be relegated and distorted by the obsession some of our compatriots have with identity politics which tend to divide rather than unite us. Beyond boots on the ground, military bases and police stations, some political leaders here note that the ultimate guarantee of peace is the willingness of communities to live in harmony and their resolve to settle differences through lawful means. This crisis is 40 years old and of course we have been trying to find solutions. We are working closely with both the communities, the religious leaders, the community leaders, youth leaders, women leaders to find a lasting solution to the problem. As much as possible and as quickly as possible the warring communities should sit down and agree to take off military boots from the area because there will be no investment, there will be no, uh, uh, no investor will be interested in an area that is characterized by military boots on ground. At the end of this meeting, the consensus by all present is that continuous efforts needs to be made by political, religious and community leaders at all levels to help bring the situation under control.